hey there welcome to my channel my name is Maureen and this is ZX crochets so today's tutorial is about this crochet amoma with bell sleeves and bobo stitches I hope you like it and if you do please do not forget to hit the subscribe button for more wonderful crochet tutorials this is how it looks at it looks like at the back like nothing changes it's the same in the front and the same at the back so for more pics you can check out my instagram page which is also at zx crochets yep you can also drop a comment let's connect and let's dive into the tutorial now you're gonna need a tape measure i'm going to be using winter king yarn which is for ply and 100 percent acrylic this is um three millimeter hook 3.0 millimeter hook you are gonna need stitch markers two of them and then you're gonna need a dani needle so this i'm using a medium weight yarn and this is what you're first going to make like you're going to need two sleeves so this is the first sleeve so you can have a look at the stitch it looks really nice and and it's cozy too on the body so for this you first you make the upper part then come and join it over here then come without increasing then from that point you continue to increase until when the sleeve is done so first you're going to be making a chain of which is measuring 14 inches but you just go around your arm like your underarm and measure the inches there if it's 13 make a chain of 14 and if it's 15 make a chain of 16 like add one inch then you shall come with a rectangle which is going to measure up to 11 inches and then that's when we shall be joining the work and then we start to increase after there so this is what you're going to be making first as you can see this is the upper part on the sleeve so as i've told you this is measuring 13 inches and 11 inches but as I've told you, like measure around your arm, like your upper arm around. If it's measuring 14, make a chain of 15. So for my case, it measured 13. So I'm going to make a slip knot. And then after make a chain of 57, which is 14 inches long. And this is for size small and then size medium can also use this. But if your arm is bigger, please just measure the inches around your arm and make a chain that covers those inches so now this is what we have as i've told you i've made a chain of 57 and once we measure this is going to give me 14 inches which i was looking for and also if you're making a chain make sure it's in all numbers so after that i'm going to skip two chains and then go into the third chain with a double crochet so for row one skip two chains and then double crochet into each and every chain up to the end of row one and to make a double crochet yarn over inside pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two it's really that simple let me show you more clearly yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and i'm gonna be doing this up to the end of chain one sorry up to the end of row one So now we are coming to the end of row one we have three stitches left this is the third last place your double crochet go into the second last place your double crochet and into the last chain you're going to place your double crochet and for row two you're going to make a chain of two this is row one we are done with row one you're going to make a chain of two one sorry one and two then turn your work then chain more turn your work so after turning your work you're going to continue you're going to double crochet in that first stitch in that very first stitch and after that double crochet into the next stitch so for row two we are still going to double crochet into each and every stitch up to the end of row two Coming to the end of row 2, you're going to still insert your double crochets. So here we are. Place your 
double crochet this is our last double crochet you can see that very last stitch so for row three you're going to make a chain of one this is really important you're going to make a chain of one for row three and then turn your work so for row three you're going to go into this first stitch with a single crochet go into the next stitch with a single crochet again so those are two single crochets and this is the third single crochet so insert three single crochets into three stitches and then after that you're going to begin placing our bobo stitches and place our bobo stitch inside sorry yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop and then yarn over pull through two that's one go into it the second time same stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two go into it we have three loops on our hook and then we are going to repeat this into that same stitch until we have six loops on our hook so now those are four loops on our hook five and now we are going to be placing the sixth so now this is what we have after that yarn over pull through all six loops and after pulling through all six loops you're going to go into the next stitch which is right in front with a single crochet and then single crochet into the next stitch two single crochet into the next stitch so those are two single crochets now i'm going to be placing my another bobo stitch in the into that stitch so this is the pattern we are going to follow for row three place your bobo stitch and then after placing a bobo stitch single crochet into the next two stitches and then place a bobo stitch into the third again single crochet into the next two and you're going to continue that until you have until you have four stitches left i'll meet you when you have four stitches left So after placing our second last bobo stitch, we are going to single crochet into the next two stitches. And then after we are going to place our bobo stitch, now that you have four stitches left, place your, bob your last bobo stitch into that next stitch. And then after that, after placing our bobo stitch, you are going to be having three stitches left, which makes our work equally proportional. Like remember, we started off with three stitches of single crochet and we are ending off with three stitches of single crochet so continue to place your bobo stitch remember you have to do that until you have six loops on your hook then after you can pull through all the six and after that go into the next stitch that's one single crochet the second single crochet and then the third single crochet into the last stitch place your third single crochet into the last stitch so row three is done so for row four you're going to make a chain of one and then turn your work so after that we are going to single crochet into each and every stitch up to the end of row four just go into that first stitch with a single crochet that's the first single crochet the second single crochet and we are going to single crochet up to the end of row four
so now this is the end of row four and we are going to we are still single crocheting so single crochet until row four is done and this is our last single crochet so for row five we are going to be repeating row one so from here you're going to be repeating row one two three and four just continue repeating these four rows from row one two three and four remember row one you started off with a chain of two then turn your work double crochet into each and every stitch so you're going to continue doing that until we come up with with the number of rows that we need so just continue to repeat row one two three and four so I continued to repeat row 1, 2, 3 and 4 until I came up with 7 rows of bobo stitches. Remember 4 rows of, I mean 4 rows give you only 1 row of bobo stitch. But then I continued to repeat that pattern until I came up with 7 rows of bobo stitches. As you can see they are 7. Uh, I already put the last row which is oh, the one of single crochet and once we measure this i came up with 11 inches so after that we are going to be joining our work you can see this part then we come and join but on joining i'm joining from the single crochet row but then no increase is going to be made until we finish off double bow stitch row so to do that to join my work together just grab your hook and this is the last single crochet remember we are ending on row four for when we are making the seven rows of bobo stitches so after that you're going to slip stitch your work together from this point but if you want yours longer you can make more rows maybe around 12 inches or 13 inches according to how long you want your work to be after that make a chain of two and now we are going to be repeating row one but this time it's going to be in the round so we are going to be repeating row one only that it's going to be in the round so after chaining to turn your work turn your work please do that and then after that you're going to that first stitch with a single crochet sorry double crochet then you mark you place your stitch marker into that very fast into that very fast double crochet and after that we are going to double crochet all around our work no increase no decrease so we are coming to the end of this round so place your double crochet in there and into this stitch you won't place anything into that last stitch so you will simply take off your stitch marker because we don't place anything there because we already worked into it and then we are going to slip stitch our work together so that's the end of round one then chain two turn your work remember for row two still no increase no decrease just we are going to be repeating row one and two and three only that this time it's going to be in the round so again place your double crochet in that very first stitch then place your stitch marker so that you do not forget where you're supposed to slip stitch your work together from and then after that you're going to continue double crocheting all around So we are coming to the end of this round two. You can see we are placing our last double crochet and we don't put anything here because that's where our chain two started from. And now once you count from this point, one, two and three all around, you are supposed to be having 55. There should be 55 stitches all around. That's if you followed my measurements from the start but if you made the measurements custom to your size it's okay so after that slip stitch your work and after slip stitching you're going to make a chain of one and then turn your work so the only thing that changes in this in this is that 
Remember we were single crocheting into the next three. Then placing our purpose. This time we are single crocheting into the next two. Then we start placing our purpose stitches. So do not forget plus your stitch marker so that you do not forget where you're supposed to be slip stitching your work from. Then place your second single crochet. And then after that you're going to go into the third stitch with a bobo stitch. And then single crochet. After that you'll single crochet into the next two stitches and then place your bobo stitch into into the third stitch then single crochet into the next two stitches so it's going to go around like that nothing changes and then i'll be meeting you towards the end of this round So now we have three stitches left, sorry two stitches left, you're going to place your bobber stitch into the second last stitch. I've already shown you how to place your bobber stitches and I might also drop, uh, I might also drop a link to a tutorial of how to make bobber stitches. So here you, we are, Good to know. I don't know why I made five. I had five loops on my hook but they should be six please then single crochet into the next stitch and you can see the next stitch you already worked into it so you don't place anything there but rather just take off your stitch marker and then slip stitch your work from there slip stitch your work from there please and now that round is done so chain one and turn your work so this is where the magic is going to begin from we are going to begin increasing and making the bell sleeves so for my case i decided to first use single crochet into that very first stitch sorry first stitch and then of course do not forget place your stitch marker and after that i'm going to count of seven stitches and then i'll place my stitch marker into that seventh stitch because you're going to be increasing into that seventh stitch so place your stitch marker just that you do not finish off the whole work with a lot of numbers on your mind so here we are when you place that stitch marker there like you take a break from counting and just work you know i think it's much more easier what do you think so continue until you reach that point our seventh stitch As you can see you can count then this is our seventh stitch Ta take off your the stitch marker and then we are going to be placing two single crochets into this space after that again I'm gonna count like from this point one two three four five six and seven again place your stitch marker there and then you're going to single crochet but just not forgetting to place two single crochets into that space into the space where you placed your stitch marker after that again count into the seventh stitch and place your stitch marker so for this I count this as row one because this is where we began increasing from so I'm counting this as row one even the simple pattern that I'm going to provide when you see row one it means starting from this point where we began increasing from so now this is what we have as you can see when you count we only have six six stitches and if you have six stitches do not mind about that just work into it if you don't have a seventh stitch do not increase anywhere just continue working normally and then slip stitch of your work so it's the same thing like if you're increasing and you're increasing into the 11th stitch and you find that at the end the stitches do not count up to 11 single crochet into those remaining ones and do not increase anywhere and slip stitch of your work so now this is what we have 
so for row two you're going to make a chain of two and then turn your work so for row two we are not going to increase anywhere just chain to turn your work as i've shown you and then now of course single crochet into that very first stitch you can see the stitches over there I hope that do not confuse you so s double crochet oh my god double crochet into that stitch and then do not forget place your stitch marker but if you can identify it without the help of a stitch marker that is also fine and then I'm going to double crochet all around for this no increase no decrease and also do not forget I'm going to be providing something simple a simple pattern for the sleeves and remember row one begins from where we started increasing so here we are coming to the end of row two so as I told you into that stitch you don't place anything because you already worked into it as you can see and if you put anything there it's gonna act as an increase and we do not want that so this is what we have and at this point you're going to single crochet Oh my god now you're going to slip stitch then chain two turn your work for row three remember row one we were increasing into the seventh stitch row two we didn't increase and then row three we are going to be increasing into the ninth stitch i hope you understand like increase into the seventh row two no increase row three increase into the ninth stitch and we are going to follow that pattern all around So I've placed my stitch marker into the ninth stitch but one thing I do not want you to forget is the fact that we are following the pattern of row 1, 2, 3 and 4. The 4 rows that we started with are the ones we are continuing with and we are s sorry, increasing into our ninth stitch over here. So place your 2 double crochets as you can see if it's a, a row of if we are increasing in a row of single crochet place two single crochets and if we are increasing in the row of double crochets place two double crochets so this is what we have now now i'm going to double crochet up to that stitch marker which is also our ninth stitch and for row three it's gonna go around like that again i'll show you place two double crochets into that space as you can see we remember we first increased into the seventh row to no increase row three increase into the ninth row four which is going to be a bubble stitch row no increase row five row five which is going to be a single crochet row increase into the 11th stitch and we are going to be following that pattern so we are coming to the end of row row three so count one two three and four five six and seven so now we don't have an row to increase in so what you're going to do is you're simply going to place no more double crochets no increase no decrease and then slip stitch your work So for row 4 you're going to make a chain of 1 and then turn your work and then after turning your work you're going to go into this very first stitch with a single crochet. A single crochet into the first stitch, single crochet into the second stitch too but do not forget place your stitch mark of course. Then single crochet into the second stitch and after that place your bobble stitch so this row no increase no decrease just follow the stitches available and place your bobble stitches wherever you can remember you 
place a bobo stitch then single crochet into the next two stitches then place your bobo stitch so that's what you're going to be doing for row four and then i'll meet you towards the end So we are coming towards the end of row 4 and we have 3 stitches left so place your last bubble stitch and then after we are going to be single crocheting into the last 2 stitches then slip stitching our work. And also please make sure that you have 6 loops on your hook before you yarn over and pull through all the 6 because the bubble stitch is made up of 6 loops and not 5 loops. But I realized that I was forgetting sometimes I was working with only five loops on my hook but also in most cases I did remember that they should be six and I was having six loops on my hook so after that you're going to slip stitch your work and after slip stitching your work you're going to chain one and turn your work so row four is done now we are going on to row five and for row 5 we are going to be increasing into the 11th stitch so remember row we last increased in row 9 sorry into the ninth stitch then we came up with row 4 where we didn't increase and now we're in row 5 where we are supposed to be increasing into the 11th stitch i think you can see the pattern that row 1 we increase into the 7th stitch row 2 no increase row 3 increase into the 9th row 4 no increase and row 5 increase into the 11th plus do not forget i'm going to be like i'm going to be showing you a simple pattern that i wrote so for this row just continue to increase into the 11th stitch all around just make sure that you can try it and then place your stitch markers wherever they are supposed to be and place two single crochets wherever you need to increase two single crochets and not more than that so we are going to be repeating row one increase two no increase three increase four no increase i hope you do not forget that and remember row one started from when we from a single crochet row this time so this is a simple chart of how showing you how you are supposed to increase your work and I hope that it doesn't confuse you but if there's anything you wanna ask or talk about just drop it in the comment section down below. Continue increasing until you have 8 rows of bobber stitches. Remember we have only made 1 row so far of bobber stitches of increase of course. So this is what I came up with and these are 8 rows of increase bobber stitches of course. But I did single crochet without any increase for the remaining three rows for the last three rows i only single crochets with no increase so this is what we have and if we measure and this is around 14 inches long sorry 14 inches wide the sleeves are pretty wide and that's around 14 and a half and that's pretty okay for me and then in length it's about let's see 26 inches long but if you want yours longer just make sure that you make more rows and if you want it wider please also just make more rows that's all you need so after this i'm going to be joining my work together like 
we need an opening so this is what it looks like on the inside and this is what it looks like on the outside so the next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be joining our work together at the top i feel like it's too much already and i just want it to be a little simple at the top so i'm just going to be joining a little bit and leaving an opening for the neck so to do that you're going to remember when you're joining your work together the wrong side should be on top yes and now this is what i have i'm going to join a little bit on this side because i don't want it to pull itself up so count five stitches off plus your stitch marker and then i'm going to count five stitches this side too which is about one inch only but if you want yours you can make it more like two inches it's according to what you really want so i'm going to be placing my stitch marker there too so after counting of five stitches on both sides i'm going to be repeating the same thing onto this side too and after that grab your hook and yarn make a slip knot and after making a slip knot i'm going to attach my yarn onto my work and just make a slip knot i'd like attach your yarn in whichever way is easy for you and then after we are going to begin single crocheting our work together for only this one inch so this is one inch or one and maybe 0.3 inches which is okay for me but if you want it to cover more you can like single crochet a bigger part together but just make sure that your your head goes through this opening so make sure you do not leave a very tiny opening that will make you struggle when you're putting it on or taking it off so after that just make a chain of one then cut your yarn pull up your loop so we are done joining one part maybe different part i should say so we are going to be joining the back part as you can see this is how it looks like so we are going to be joining the back part with like some procedure so we are done doing that and this is what we have so the only thing remaining is for me to weave in the ends and cut off the excess yarn so if you like this video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also give it a like and a comment just to boost its engagement so thank you for watching i really appreciate that and trust me i have a lot in store for you so see you in the next video